What's up YouTube and fish fan peep? This is RNA Racing's Natural Aquariums coming to you on Friday. TJF everybody. And hopefully you guys got some great plans for the weekend. Um, and are having a great day thus far. Uh, did drop a video this morning for some well-deserved shout-outs. Um, but I got to thinking about what tomorrow is. Being tomorrow is November 11th, it's Veterans Day. And I know a lot of us focus on our hobbies, our channels, um, our subscriber channels, our subscribers, um, and our hobby in general. But I think with that being said, I know on a few other channels and a few other streams, the conversation has come up about the health benefits of having fish tank or fish tanks. Um, where a lot of people who are suffering from PTSD have reaped some benefits from having fish tanks. So I thought with that, I would take a moment and just say thank you for all that you've done for our country and our freedoms so that we can share this wonderful thing that we call the fish fam and the hobby of fish keeping. And it's only a small part of what your courage and your unselfishness has rewarded us with. You put your life on the line or you've put it on the line and you've moved on, you've come back to being or coming back to civilian life. And I know a lot of people, both in the fish fam as well as personally, that their tour may be over, but it's not. They still suffer day to day, and life is hard at times. I know on Facebook I always see um, posts about sharing this um, suicide hotline number and things like that. And I've actually had the opportunity and it's the only word that I can think of at the moment, to see just how damaging the evils of war can be on somebody. I actually had a good friend that was in my fire department many years ago that had served in Vietnam. And I know a lot of people um, that I have come across in my lifetime that a large portion don't talk about things that they've done, things that they've seen, um, and there are others that will talk about things. And for people who do not think that PTSD is a real, a real I guess you could say, condition, ailment, however you want to word it, I actually witnessed my good friend, I don't even remember what prompted the conversation, but somehow he started to talk about Vietnam. Not really getting into any gory details or anything like that, just talking about you know what he faced while he was there. And I literally was watching his eyes as he started to tell this story to us. And we were all sitting at our firehouse um, on a weekend, and uh, something prompted him to talk. Maybe he was reaching out in some form or fashion for camaraderie, uh, a distraction, whatever it may be. And I literally watched his eyes where when you talk to somebody, you know that they're looking at you like I'm looking at you right now eye to eye and we know there's a connection I actually watched this individual transport back to the 1960s and actually become the soldier that he was at that time and was back in Vietnam you could completely see the change and the facial expressions and the eyes he was no longer sitting in front of me talking. 
he was back there going through everything he went through. And for those who have never experienced it, it is very eerie to see somebody completely disconnect from reality and go back to what was reality when they suffered the, um, maybe not suffered, but transported back in time, so to speak. And at that point in time, you have to be so careful because they're not here. Their mind is not here. They're back in the jungles. And, you know, anything can happen. And we have been good friends for years. And to see that disconnect was so eerie. And luckily, I had skills whereas not to put myself him or anybody else in harm's way by saying or doing the wrong thing. So PTSD is a real thing. And I was able to talk him down and bring him back to reality. And he almost, I want to say he almost didn't realize that he did it. So the reason I tell that story is that you can see some of our great members of the fish fam um, that have discussed this issue of PTSD and other related issues, um, just how beneficial it is to have the fish fam and to have fish tanks and pets and everything else. That helps them get through the day. So just as our veterans have played a very important part in our life and our world and affording us the freedoms that we cherish and that we love and we hold so dear, you know, we as a fish fam are kind of helping support them because of how warm we are, because of how um, caring that we are and our willingness to help. So they may not come right out and say, you know, I've got this problem. You know, I need your help. They may completely repaint the picture and say, you know, I've got this fish tank and I don't know what to do with it. It's a distraction. It gets their mind off of whatever they've witnessed or whatever they've had to do while serving our country. So... I wanted this video to go out to our members, past, present, and future. God bless you all. Thank you for all that you've done for us, all that you're going to do for us, and that I am proud to be part of a fish fam that cares about each other. That we are here to support you in any means necessary so that you feel appreciated for you as a person, for you as a soldier, a veteran, a soon-to-be soldier, whatever the case may be, this is my thank you to you. Because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be doing this right now. And I know with the amount of disrespect that's going on in our country now, it's almost embarrassing to be an American because the phrase, united we stand, divided we fall, are such powerful words. And we have so much animosity and fighting amongst us as Americans it's sad burning of the flag these people have put their life on the lines so that they have freedom of expression they have freedom of speech they have the freedom to pursue their happiness but some people get so tunnel vision in whatever it is that drives their passion that respect goes out the window. Common decency goes out the window. 
love for one another, gone. It's a sad day. And for all you veterans that are out there and the veterans that I see here in my area that I know, that I've worked with, that I've served with in the fire service and, and whatever the case may be, they're, they don't want to thank anybody. They're so wrapped up in their world that they forget if it wasn't for people like you, this world wouldn't exist. So with that being said, and I'm sorry this is such a downer of a video, kind of a departure from what I normally do, but I love the U.S. And it's because of you veterans that I am able to enjoy your videos, our subscribers' videos, our friends' videos, and this hobby. So again, I say thank you for all you've done. Thank you for all you are doing now. And to those that have decided to serve our country, God bless you and may God be with you. Because without you guys, what you see going on on other parts of the world could be us with the terrorisms and the shootings in our backyard with the, it, it, the burning of the American flag that's a disgrace granted I give you the respect to have your freedom of expression your freedom of speech but when you start messing with things that are building blocks and foundations for what is America, I have a problem with that. And I have a problem with disgracing all those who have put their life on the line, man or woman, so that we can enjoy our freedoms, we can enjoy our hobbies, we can enjoy each other. And I think it's about time that America starts being united again. Don't let that unity fade. Because what you see going on on the news, in the papers, on Facebook or other social medias, it can happen here. So, I do apologize that this video kind of went the way it did. But I just wanted to take time out to thank each and every one of you for all that you do. I want to thank the Fish family for being a community that actually cares. I enjoy being a part of the Fish fam. I enjoy all the members, all the family members. And I respect all our veterans. So tomorrow is your day. It's Veterans Day. Hold your head up. Never think that there's not help out there. If you're suffering from something, we're here to support you in any way that we can. So with that, I say thank you. God bless you. Keep your sleeves wet. This is RNA. Take care.